Okay, next on this part, we're going to show two different type of three axis toolpaths. Let's start with the first. We insert new multi-surface feature, select all the faces and select my strategy. In that case, dual strategy. We going to use pattern project to machine the top of the radius and then on the bottom of the part we're going to use the Z level. To check OK, right click, generate operation plan, generate tool pass for the area clearance. And before we do the tool pass for the pattern project we need to constrain the tool path between floor lines. So we need to select the curve, select the top curve, and I select bottom curve, and OK, and generate tool path. So we've machined the top of the radius. Now for the Z level, since the top is already machined, we can say start at 30 degree, for example, uh, to maximum slope 90 degrees. We're going to use helical. OK. Generate tool path. We are so we have the top and the bottom on the level. Let's simulate this quickly. Now there's another way to, to do this and just uh, delete this feature and I do a new one multi-surface feature but this time I uh, select only the faces that need to be machined so the faces in blue and I select the three axis multi-axis machining just one operation Operation plan. Now, before we start, the same. I need to constrain the tool paths between flow lines. So I select the upper curve and I select the lower curve. And as you can see here, under axis control, this is a three-axis tool path. And if you have the five axis option, of course, you can use four or five axis machining. But we're going to restrict this to three axis. Generate tool path. OK, so we have just one operation here and one tool pass for that type of feature. So this is the optional uh, multi-axis possibility to use actually five axis strategy but constrain the axis to three.